Okay, it's Steve Mead again with Caroline County Council of Arts, and we're going to move to the next step. So I've cut all these pieces to size. I decided what size canvas that I wanted. So based on this, I cut all these pieces. So I have my long pieces for the edges, and then I have one at each end and a middle support piece. One of the things that I did additionally, which depending on the size of the canvas, you don't necessarily need to do. You could, you could do this on, if you're doing a 12 by 12 canvas, um, 12 inch by 12 inch canvas, you don't really need these. But what I did is I made these certain little ja uh, pieces of wood, these little jacks to go in the corner. And what that's gonna do is just give me a little bit of extra support, okay? So, So if you can see that, that's kind of where we're going from here. So that's what we're going to assemble. And that's how we're going to put it together. So the next step that we're going to do, I'm going to take my drill and I'm going to add that countersink bit that we talked about before. Okay? So I've got that. Then I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to find the center point of these pieces of wood. Alright? So we center point. So this piece of wood is 48 inches. We're going to mark it at 24. And then we're gonna mark this one. Let's just double check that this is also four feet. Always measure twice, cut once. Yep, and we're gonna mark this one at 24 inches as well. Okay, all right, so then we know that's where our middle support bar is gonna go. We wanna keep that right in the center. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna take these and I'll put these to the side for now. Then, I'm going to take this square, and what I use this for is I use it for just drawing a straight line and uh, getting everything to where I want it to be. So I'm gonna line this up, and you put this long bar against here, which holds everything straight. Draw a line. Draw another line. Okay, and what, what that does is just make sure that I have 24 inches on center at this point, and that's where I'm gonna put my two screws. Okay, so I'm gonna do that to the next one as well. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one too. And this. So one thing to note, with these canvases, when you rip the 2x4, a lot of them have an eased edge on them, just the way that it is. So as you can see, it's kind of a more rounded edge. If you look sort of at, at the end there, what we want to do is we want to put that side in. So we want the sharp edge like this to be on the outside always. And that's just to be able to keep nice crisp lines and make sure everything's going to work right. So. The biggest thing with the 2x4s that you find, you want to make sure it's a nice straight 2x4. It's not always easy to find one, some might be twisted, but uh, really take your time picking those out and getting the right one that works for you. So this canvas is going to be 4 feet wide, and it is going to be, let's get the width here, 4 foot wide and 2 feet and a half of an inch All right, okay, so next thing that I'm gonna do, so I have all the all of my parts, so I'm gonna flip these over on the side. On the sides, I'm gonna drill them. And I've decided to put this one on the inside of these two pieces. So if you look, it's gonna be on the inside, not on the outside, but on the inside. Just gives me a little bit extra width on this, which I think is pretty important, so we're gonna go with that. Okay? And then, um, all right, so our next step, I'm going to take this countersink bit and I want to meet, I want to line this up so that it's right in the center where I put the screw. So I'm going to make a mark right at the center with my pen and just try to come up with a line. And once I have that line, I could take my square or you don't need to because it's not an exact science and just draw a line. So, then I'm gonna take my countersink bit, 
And normally I'd have a piece of wood under here, but I don't have one with me. And then I'm just gonna drill two spots. Okay, so what that's gonna do is it's just gonna leave a small hole where the screw head can go into. And I'm gonna do that everywhere. So science we're not making furniture so you know we're not trying to make uh, not go crazy with uh, the details here. we're just making canvas that is good to paint on and make it a user-friendly way okay all right so next step for me I'm gonna take these pieces and I'm gonna run them across this table is not perfectly flat so I don't recommend Using this normally I'd probably build this on the floor in fact I probably will build it on the floor Let me just move these materials all right Okay, now I have my screwdriver bit on my drill, which is what we're gonna screw everything together. So the surface of the table was not flat, so I wasn't really happy with how that was coming together. So the next step here, I'm going to take my pieces and lay them out again, okay? Actually, this one goes here and here. Okay, and then I have my middle point where I drew that before. So we're gonna have that again, right in the middle. And then we're gonna have this piece up at the top. And again, we're gonna put the crisper side out, one with the, without the eased edge on it. Okay, so I have my inch and five eighths inch screws. And these are just typical drywall screws, nothing special but they're going to work for this purpose. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to just set the drill into the hole and I'm going to run it just a tiny bit, very slow. So you want to use a variable speed drill. And go really slow, all right, until it's in. And that's one screw. Top. 
You know, it looks like this floor is not very level either. Okay, there you are. Now you just built your first canvas. So to me, it's still a little bit wobbly. So what I want to do, and you don't have to for a smaller canvas, but I think it's generally a good idea to do one of these, is I'm going to put in some of these angled pieces. So I'm going to go back and get this bit, the countersink bit, like we did before, take off the screwdriver bit, and I'm going to drill these. All right, and all I'm going to do is drill Okay, and get a couple more pieces here Actually, I'm just going to drill them all right here because they're all going to fit no matter what so What I do is I always, if I have a little bit of extra 2x4 left over, like it did in this case, I cut another one of these. It's very easy for these to split, and you want to make sure that that's not the case. Okay. All right, so we're going to move that out of the way. Okay, next step. So I'm going to take off the countersinking bit. I'm going to put back on my screwdriver bit. This time, instead of the inch and 5 8 screws that I used before, because those will go all the way through, we're going to use an inch and a quarter screwdriver bit. So it's a little bit small, or a screwdriver, screw, this is a uh, smaller screw. Okay.
back a little bit. Sorry. Okay, it's all stretched. Nice and sturdy. It's not moving around on me anymore. And uh, we are ready to stretch the canvas. <laughs> 